Bye. Hi everyone, my name is Whitney Milam. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing another weekly progress update. As you might remember from my last progress update, I said that this week I was focusing on getting into exercise. So my goal was to get in three 30 minute workouts and that's exactly what I did. So Sunday morning I started with a Connect Fitness workout. Connect as in the Xbox motion sensor system. I think you can buy other workouts that you can go through, but I just went with this add-on, which was strength and mobility. So it's four different workouts, and the one that I did was an upper body strength and mobility workout. I did that on Sunday, and I only got through two of the three circuits, and I was really tired at the end of those two. I pushed myself to finish a 30 minute workout, but it was, it was burning, and it was very difficult. Um, and I was definitely modifying a good amount of the moves, but I still felt good at the end of it. Then Monday, I did five minutes of dynamic stretching and then 25 minutes on the treadmill um, before I went to work. And that was challenging, but it set me up for a good day. I was, I was feeling really great on my drive into work, which is not typical on a Monday morning for most of us. And then I had every intention to keep doing that treadmill workout in the mornings but this week got really hectic really quickly i got some new projects to work on and it was just not gonna happen in the morning i didn't work out tuesday morning i didn't work out wednesday morning and then i knew that thursday morning was going to be really busy for me i had to go in early and so even though i didn't want to I got in my third workout on Wednesday evening and I just did that strength and mobility upper body workout again and this time I made it through all three of the circuits and I was definitely performing better on all of the pieces that I'd done previously and I was surprised at how quickly I was feeling stronger on some of the elements. Still have a long way to go. I was still making a lot of modifications to the workouts that I was doing but I'm feeling really energized by the fact that I'm trying things, I'm pushing myself, and everything's going well thus far. I really wanna focus on this feeling right now because I know it's gonna get really hard and I wanna celebrate these little wins as they come. Speaking of little wins outside of what the scale says, I've really been noticing and seeing and feeling my clothes fitting looser and that's a great feeling. <laughs> um, what's not a great feeling, let me tell you, is being at work, walking down the hallway, feeling your pants fitting very loosely and thinking to yourself, oh, I think in maybe a week or two, I might have to order a size smaller in these pants. These ones are a little bit loose. And then as you're sitting at your desk, you make a slight movement of your leg and your pants just rip right in the middle. What makes that feeling worse is if you were just about to present to your entire team. So that's cool. I'd imagine if someone went through that this week, then um, that would not be a great feeling. I can't speak to it personally, um, but no, that happened. That happened to me this week. My pants split even though they were fitting loosely and I was about to present something that I worked on for like a month and a half and luckily the presentation was sitting down and I could leave afterwards. I don't think anyone noticed except for the people who I told um, in my immediate circle, but that was great. So the last couple days I've been in a bit of a conundrum because I'm not quite ready to go down a size in pants. I'm like almost there which is so cool, but I'm not quite there yet. So I had to buy another pair in my current size, which I'm not too pleased about because I know I'm, I'm so close, but it's okay. I'll be there soon. I have to have clothes to wear to work. Can't just not. Um, I don't think they'd appreciate that. 
but I promise you I do know that my clothes are fitting nicer. Several things that I've worn this week have just been kind of like draping off of me instead of sticking, clinging right to my belly. I carry a lot of weight in my midsection and that's partially because I have PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome that has a lot of symptoms in common with metabolic syndrome um, and both of those I know you carry a lot of weight around your midsection specifically. If you're not familiar with PCOS and you have questions about it, um, feel free to just Google it or if you want to hear me talk about my PCOS story, uh, leave a comment down below and I'll make a separate video. So enough of the non-scale victories, let's talk about what happened on the scale. This week I weighed in on Friday again, so it was a full seven day stretch to measure that weight loss and I lost another two pounds. I'm hoping that this is the beginning of just a consistent stretch of like two pounds at a time. That would be awesome because I know it tapers off, it gets harder as you go along. And so if I can keep this up, this two pounds at a time, great. I'm very happy with that. So what's happening this week? Two weeks ago, it was water. This past week, it was exercise. This week's theme is boot camp. I'm really gonna push myself on the exercise. I could have done more workouts last week, but I got busy and here I'm already making excuses. This week I'm doing four workouts and they're gonna be 30 minutes each. At least three of them are gonna be in the morning and at least two of those mornings are gonna be during the week. Kind of aggressive, but I need to get into the swing of things. I need to make sure that I'm making time, making that appointment with myself and not breaking it. The final thing that I want to talk about is my weekly meal plan. So this week is going to look a little bit different and that's because I'm changing the ratio of carbs to protein to fat that I'm putting into my body. I mentioned that I have PCOS. One of the characteristics of PCOS is being insulin resistant and in a nutshell that means that you can't process carbs the way that an average person can. It leads to this belly weight and it messes with my hormones. I need to start treating my PCOS like any other dietary restriction. So there are people with celiac disease who can't have gluten and they change their entire diet because gluten is dangerous to them. Carbs are really dangerous for me. So I'm lowering my carb intake and I know this seems counterintuitive, but I'm upping my fat intake. I've been doing a lot of research on it and I've been seeing a lot of things online from women with PCOS who have talked to their doctors and been prescribed a diet that is low in carbs and high in fat. And that is specifically because of how a PCOS body works. I need to figure out what's right for my body. So I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna see how I feel if the scale continues to move in the right direction and I'm feeling good about the choices, then I'll keep doing it. But I really just need to listen to my body to figure out what's right for me. I will let you guys know next week how it goes, how I'm feeling about everything, and if this is something that I'm gonna continue into the next week. All right, that's it for this weekly update. Thank you so much for joining me. If you wanna see more updates like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. If you liked this video, you know which button to press. And if you have questions for me about my PCOS or about my weight loss journey, leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks everyone, bye.